Hello and welcome to AIM Game. My name is Amy. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. It's always lovely to see you. And if you are new to the channel, where the hell have you been? Just kidding. Thank you very much for taking the time to click and watch this video. But if you enjoy horror and you're the type of sicko that likes to see girls scared out of their wits, then this is definitely the right channel for you. So please subscribe and turn on your notifications. I do post videos weekly. Today's game is going to be the demo for From Day to Day. This is an Amiga Games game. Last week I uploaded a two-part video for Summer 58 and I strongly suggest you go and watch that as well. I will put a link at the top of the screen. Now I'm not going to lie, that game terrified me and had me paranoid for days after. So of course, to ensure my mental health is completely screwed up, I decided to jump into the demo for the next game. So without further ado, let's get into it. So just a little bit of backstory in case you haven't gone back to watch Summer of 58 first. We initially played as a paranormal investigator called Alex Morton. Now, he doesn't particularly believe in the paranormal. He thinks that the things that people see, hear, and just generally experience are down to their own state of mind and things that either themselves or others may have done. But he was proved wrong in the summer of 58. There was definitely some paranormal activity going on. And at the end of that game, it was implied that there is some witchcraft involved because there is a character in Summer 58 called Maria who was desperate to save her son Ivan who needed a heart transplant. She made a bit of a deal um, with initially a doctor, which didn't turn out very well for her, and then again with someone else, someone unknown, and again didn't turn out very well for her. So she vowed basically whoever had wronged her son and herself that she would come back and at the end of the game we had a little sneak peek into the next venue that Alex was going to investigate and that happens to be this place that you can see in front of you now. So here he is. All seems so nice and peaceful. Click tab to view diary. We need to find a way to get into the house. Conveniently, we've been left a flashlight. It just arrived. I think I'll need it. I think so too, bud. Uh, just instructions. Okay. How in the heck are we going to get in? Mm-hmm. Well, first thing, let's the doors. never that easy is it so I'm wondering are we playing as Alex Morton at the moment need something to open the window um I don't think we're playing as Alex because he had permission from the owner Is that a note over there yeah let's go and check that out um in the last game he had permission from the owner to go and have a a bit of a look around there so I'm assuming we would have been left keys or some way to get in thought I could hear something nope it's just paranoia setting in again what's that flashing oh crowbar this may help me in the future okay so we pretty much found our way in then you know a game's gonna be good when you started with a bit of B and E Personal history. A doctor in the city psychiatric hospital was dismissed for illegal actions against his patients. Again, in summer 58, we were in a hospital. I don't know whether it was specifically a psychiatric hospital. There was some medical stuff going on there. Other than psychiatric, uh, there is mention of removal of kidneys and such. Lighter fluid, it might be useful. What's up? <gasps> There's a guy on the porch. There is a big fucking guy on the porch. Alright, mate. Fucking hell. What's this? He, I think. Old key previously, such keys were used, sorry, in jewelry boxes. What the fuck? Maybe he's here to let us in. What the hell? 
Is is that door like a portal to like another realm or something? What what the? F Can I see anything to the other side? No, there's nothing. Okay. What I didn't get with this place is look at the state of it, but they've got a solar panel outside. I'm thinking that type of technology is overkill on a place like this. Oh, can I just stay here with the birds? So pretty. But then you got that well. What's at the bottom of that well? That's what I want to know. Williams. There's another house over there which looks to be in a good state of repair. I'm going to see if I can see anything looking through the windows. Now. Nah. Alright. I'm just going to scan the ground here a little bit to see if there's anything else. Any of the keys. I don't think there's going to be. Alright, so that key doesn't work for that. It was, it did say it was just for like a jewellery box, so. Thought this was going to be the way in. Go, uh, 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 go on. There's dead mice and stuff in there. An old lighter might come in useful. The lighter is empty. Need to fill it. House key. Who put the keys there? Hmm. Um. Okay. Well, I can't get in through the window. I'm sorry I missed your call. Alright, and we're in. Find a room where I can put my things. Maybe we might be playing as Alex? Unclear at the moment. Very unclear. Pick lock. Oh, shit. Hello? Ooh, she looks like she's been cut up. What the? Whoa! Oh my god. Alright. Well, if I am Alex, I can clearly see that there's definitely some paranormal shit going on in you. Oh, somebody blew out the candles. Oh shit. Alright. Is something tied with rope? Looks like. We don't have any sort of knife. So can we burn it off? Yep, we're burning it off. Wow. Why are you even here? I mean, hopefully we haven't purchased this place because I have heard of fixer-uppers, but fuck. This totally would not be worth it. Keeping the front door open for a quick escape. Open the lock, I need to find the second part of the lockpick. Yeah, okay, and there's a dream catcher. Which again, if you've seen Summer of 58, you'll know we've seen one of those before. <laughs> it sounds so creepy. So damn creepy. Got a jewelry box. Okay, we got the key for that one. Awesome. Emily's diary. Who is Emily? the hell? Oh. Ah! Oh, 
Fucking hell. <gasps> oh, do you think that's the guy from outside? Oh, crap. Okay, we got the second part of the lockpick. Now I can open the lock door. What is this? Old oh, key. Why was it hidden? I don't know. Probably for good reason. Oh shit, there's someone behind me. Either that or it's behind the wall. Oh, fuck. That sounds like it's coming from a radio. A dagger for the ritual. Okay, there's some sort of cup, a skull and a note in there, but I can't take any of those. And a bunch of dead rats. Okay, where do we need to go next? What do we need to do? Okay, this is new. There were no bars on the window, I don't think, last time. That clock wasn't there either. And the skeleton on the floor, shackled to the radiator, definitely was not there the last time we walked through. You shit. Oh god. Okay, let's see if we can get into that lock room now. We have both. Get up. I'm not interested. Right, should be able to get in here. Huh. This room will suit. We need to move boxes with things that are on the street in this room. Street? I wouldn't call it a fucking street. Oh great. Mannequins, I think? An office chair. What well, looks to be an office phone. And there's some sort of files in there as well. Yeah. Not the type of place where you'd find office furniture. Okay. <laughs> You sneaky headless bitch. Look at that. It looks like a skull on her boob. See the eyes? And the nose. That's what freaked me out more than anything then. I thought it was a skull on there. City News. The search for the girl who disappeared last summer continues. Her tracks ended in the forest of the suburb. The girl's parents do not lose hope and ask anyone uh, who has at least some information to contact the police. Philadelphia Morning News. I've heard that at least one girl goes missing here every summer and the trail ends near the city. Some believe that they are just running away from the routine to a new life. Why would some believe that? Why would anybody believe that? The one girl per you just goes missing. A little bit suspicious, don't you think? I missed another newspaper article. The holiday is coming. Soon there will be a celebration of the day when the residents expelled the last witch from the city. Are uh, they sure it was the last witch? Because I'm thinking, nah. Alright, so where am I going to find these things of mine? Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh well, let's get him inside. Okay, box number two. One more. Please don't move, love. There's too much to deal with in these games anyway without fucking moving mannequins, so please, don't move! Box number three. All right. Need to close the doors on the bolt, which are located in the hallway, and hang the keys. He'll be here soon. He will be here soon. Let's 
See, this just raises so many questions. I can't wait for the full game. I'm going back to my room to get ready. Okay. I knew it! Okay, the one without the head is gone, and now I've got these two cows. A few days later. We survived a few days. Shocking. Oh, shit, this is dark. Oh. Is that witches that they burn in? Oh, shit. Okay. All right, that wasn't open. There's something moving here and there, I think. Oh, my God. Look like a guy in a straight jacket. What? Content not available in the demo version of this game. Good. I don't really want to go in there, to be honest. on their flesh oh my god that's locked great oh. I'm gonna move away from this situation what the fuck are you banging for Can I get out Okay, well, either way, I can't get out. That thing's gone, I think. Yeah, I can't see him in there. <laughs> Something funny, love? Having a good old giggle there. She seems to just be... Uh, oh, fucking hell, not again. Just enjoying the view with a human bonfire outside. Oh, I don't want to go through it. So uh, the key, the keys are missing. The keys are missing. The doors are locked. So where have I been for the last few days? Again, I want to know, like, am I part of this ritual? Is this because of me? Am I going to be sacrificed? There's something in that room right next to me where my stuff is. Okay. You're still enjoying yourselves out there? Yeah, just warming yourselves with the burning of human flesh. Every time I try and make my way down that corridor, sounds keep pulling me back this way, so I don't know if I have to keep coming back this way. I'm not sure, but I'm not getting very far. Yeah, let's just close that one as well. And try again. Uh. Ooh. I can't see anything of use in you again. The stuff on the box is gone, the skull, the cup, and the note. Hmm. Hmm. 
Is there something up there? I just got a funny feeling I'm going to look up and see something. You know, over the top. Oh, there is. It's a cat. Okay. That's, eh. Door's gone. Those are those stick figures that we saw in the summer of 58. Oh, shit. <laughs> She's again. Fucking droopy titties. Oh, I hate that bitch. Thank you for playing. Well, thank you, Amika Games, for scaring the shit out of me yet again. So that is the demo for from day to day. So this game obviously promises to be more messed up by the look of it than the summer of 58. Definitely a game to watch out for. I will be posting a link in the description for the demo if you want to give this game a go yourself. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments. If you did enjoy the video, please do give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. And until the next video, stay safe. And I will see you in the next one.